Hi, I'm here to tell you about the Columbia Lyme and Tick-Borne Disease Research Conference to be held in Philadelphia. I'm just going to say a little bit about it. There are some real highlights this year. We're going to, going to have a review of the Powassan virus and uh, learning about the latest that is known about it. Uh, we will learn about the Borrelia spirochete in the mouse model and about how it subverts the immune response, making it hard to eradicate the organism. We are going to learn about uh, different antibiotic approaches to the treatment of persister Borrelia. We will learn about more about Babesia microti and Duncani and Borrelia miyamotoi. We'll learn about the rickettsial diseases, and we will also learn about the Bartonella diseases. Other hot topics include an update on neuroimmunology and, and neuropsychiatric effects. Uh, we'll learn more about autoimmune diseases that are triggered by infection with Borrelia burgdorferi, new diagnostic approaches, the role of biofilms, immune biomarkers, the impact of autonomic abnormalities and what the autonomic profile might be. Uh, two, we'll learn about case studies of optic neuritis and a case study of cardiac Lyme disease as well as a review of cardiac Lyme disease. Um, I will be addressing the topic of why symptoms persist. And finally, Dr. Kadavid and Dr. Embers, both researchers in the mouse model. Uh, Dr. Kadavid is also a neurologist. Uh, we'll talk about their respective areas of expertise, one focusing on the treatment of neurologic Lyme disease, and Dr. Embers will talk about um, challenges in the treatment and cure of late stage uh, Lyme disease. Thank you for listening. You should definitely come to the conference. It's going to be another outstanding, exciting, interesting conference. Finally, we are going to have a talk about big data and uh, what we can learn about chronic Lyme disease from big data. And then there'll be a panel discussion after that as well. So please come and enjoy. Bye. Our research goals are to improve diagnosis and treatment of Lyme disease. The first task is to try to understand why antibiotic treatment fails in some patients. We have observed an inability of a standard doxycycline treatment regimen to fully eradicate the spirochetes and are using animal models to try to discern what may cause post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome. We are also using our animal model systems to test new strategies to treat Lyme disease. In order to improve diagnosis, we have studied how antibody responses to infection change over time. Accordingly, we have developed a serodiagnostic test that utilizes five different Borrelia proteins. Our lab hopes to utilize this test to evaluate suspect Lyme patients, those with a clinical diagnosis, who test negative by the gold standard two-tier test. I will be giving a presentation on the treatment of neurologic Lyme disease. For the last several years, a team of three neurologists, including myself and an infectious diseases specialist, reviewed the available evidence on the treatment of neurologic Lyme disease with antibiotics. This was done as part of the Cochrane collaboration. We will be reporting to you what was the conclusion of this review and give some recommendations towards future studies.